Hey there guys. So you know I'm going to be building a gate in this video, but what is that gate going to be for? Well, the answer to that lies in this half finished scrap steel structure you see behind me. This is going to be a future goat pen or goat enclosure for some goats that my daughter is hoping that we get very very soon uh, anyway this is being made out of the old drive-in movie theater steel you've seen me make some other projects with in the past uh, this was from a drive-in movie theater in Tucson that ironically my wife saw her first movie when she was like maybe four or five years old uh, so it definitely has a special place in our heart it is three inch by three inch by quarter inch thick steel angle iron that I have joined together and made into really giant T-posts and it has been quite a task so far. So that is really the uh, inspiration for deciding to take a break from the fence and build this gate. So I guess we'll just go to building the gate now and then I'll give you some closing remarks after that and then hopefully in the next video all this will be done and I might even borrow some goats from my neighbors so you can kind of see what it looks like. So at this point the gate is structurally finished and really the only thing left to do is just to paint it and add some hinges. But I do want to answer a couple of questions that I think some of you may have. Uh, you saw me uh, sheet metal screw these panels in and the reason I did that is because I'm thinking about either painting them a different color uh, or just doing a clear coat on them. Uh, so it'll have a little bit of contrast from the color that I paint the gate. And then if you guys are wondering about this little plasma cut home setonomics logo, I actually had this made about three and a half years ago uh, when I was doing some work on my welding table. And uh, my friend Kelly from Jack Jack's Metal cut that out and it's just been sitting in my shop ever since. And uh, I just figured this would be a perfect opportunity uh, to add it into the gate. And I think it looks pretty darn cool. So now I'm gonna weld the hinges on and I think I need to make some sort of little H brace frame or something like that. And then it'll be ready for the future goat yard.
All right, guys, as I often like to say, that is pretty much going to do it for this project. Hopefully it was interesting. Uh, perhaps you don't have any plans to make a goat gate, uh, but maybe for something like a side yard or a garden gate, uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas. I think it looks pretty cool, and I think my wife will be pleased that it doesn't look too junky, uh, and my daughter will be pleased that it is part of this eventual goat uh, pen that will soon uh, be housing some goats. Uh, as for those of you who are wondering about me painting this, yes, I will eventually paint it because otherwise it will rust. I uh, just haven't really solidified the colors yet, but it will most likely be home Centeromics gray for the outer, and then I'll probably do the logo in something different. Um, as for the saw you saw me using at the beginning of the video to cut all of this tubing, um, that is an Evolution Power Tools cold cut or dry cut saw. It uses a carbide blade, and they sent it to me for free. It is the uh, newer version of the saw that you've seen me use on probably, I don't know, 25 different metalworking projects over the past several years, and I love it. It's definitely an advantage over an abrasive wheel. It cuts faster. It cuts more accurately. It doesn't throw all the sparks, and this newer version of the saw has a lot of improved features like a more uh, secure clamping fence, as well as a quick release. Um, and then it also is a little bit more accurate and quicker to adjust the miter uh, for miter cuts and things like that. Um, other than that, it's just as awesome as the previous version of the saw. Uh, they did give me a discount code uh, in case you guys might be interested in it. If you're into metalworking, uh, I will put that down below. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. The next video will probably be the rest of this goat enclosure with hopefully some goats from my neighbors to kind of show you how it's going to function. And then I will get back to some travel trailer and a couple of videos on my truck, uh, just like kind of vehicle mods. And then uh, I'll get back to this goat enclosure. I'll, I'll do like a little goat shelter, some feeding and watering systems. and. Uh, I don't know, whatever else comes after that. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and uh, I will see you next time.